Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the films that I watched during the month of September. There were a lot of great films that I was able to um, watch on physical media. I was able to go to the theater to see some. I actually watched some on streaming. So if you'd like to follow along, I'm going to be on my Letterboxd account. I have a link below where you can follow along with me. Um, but first up is this film called The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue. Um, I had never seen this before. I did recently purchase this. I actually have a still book that I got about a year ago that I never did open up. Um, but when I saw that they had a standard release, I went ahead and got it. I really enjoyed it. It's a really good old zombie type film. As you can see from the artwork, really nice looking artwork. It was a bit slow paced, um, but I still enjoyed it. So I would definitely recommend that. Next up, I, for whatever reason, I watched The Dark Crystal. Um, I had never seen this film before and I wanted to check it out. I don't know what it was that um, triggered me to want to watch this. I did not enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. Really dark and gloomy, um, but I'm sure there's an audience for this. But anyway, I watched The Dark Crystal. Next up, I watched this film called Session 9. Um, I recently got the um, Second Sight release. Um, so I wanted to check it out without opening up that nice box set. I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was really good. Um, it was a little slow paced, but you know, after watching it, um, I actually thought more about it and I really did enjoy it more than I thought I would. And I would definitely recommend that you check this one out. Okay, next up is a Criterion release that I had been wanting to see, and that is The Piano in 4K. Um, I had only seen this one back when it was released in the theater, way back when, and I did pick up the 4K Criterion release during the last sale, so I wanted to check it out. I really did enjoy this movie. I think Holly Hunter had a great performance. I thought she did really well in this. The story kept me entertained and interested in the plot, and so if you've never seen The Piano, definitely check that one out. Okay, next up, I watched Mel Gibson's Apocalypto. Um, I had never seen this before. It's been in the collection for a very long time, and I just finally decided to open it up and watch it, and I loved this movie. I thought it was probably one of the better movies that I've seen in a, in a very long time. Really great sequences. The story was very easy to follow, and you just kind of feel for this tribe of people, and I definitely just enjoyed this one. It kind of put me in the mind of The Revenant, um, but yes, definitely check out Apocalypto if you've never seen it. Okay, next up, um, I watched Gone Baby Gone. Um, I was watching some film during the past month, and the trailer came on for this, and it looked familiar. I think I had seen it one time before, but it had been a very long time since I had seen it, so I went ahead and rewatched this. I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was very well done. I thought the um, storyline was very interesting. I did not um, see the ending, the way that it came out. I thought it was very... Um, very um, suspenseful and um, just enjoy this movie. So definitely check out Gone Baby Gone if you've never seen it. Okay, the next film I watched is this one called Duel. Um, this right here has um, Karen Gillian in it and Aaron Paul. I don't remember Aaron Paul being in this film very much. Um, I think he was the trainer to train this person how to battle. And it is a... Um, so there's two people, um, one's a clone and one's a person that, anyway, I don't want to spoil the movie. So anyway, it was a good film. I definitely recommend you check this one out. It was good. Um, I'm not going to give much away about that. Now, the next film that I watched was not so good. And unfortunately, I watched Crimes of the Future. I did not like this film. I really thought I was going to just based on the image there. Um, it, to me, it was very dull and slow-paced, and um, I don't know. I just didn't like it at all, but that was Crimes of the Future. Okay, next up, I watched this fun movie here called Hobo with a, Hobo with a Shotgun. Um, I had never seen this one before. I love the slipcover. I've had this in the collection since its release date, which has been many years ago. But I did watch this one. I've heard people talk about it, and I just finally took the time to watch it. I really enjoyed it. Okay, next up we have um, a film that came out called Pinocchio. It was the reboot of this animated classic um, on Disney+. Plus. 
I watched Pinocchio. I actually um, didn't think it was too bad. It, to me, was okay. You know, I've never really been a big fan of the animated Pinocchio. And to me, this right here kind of went along with that feeling. Um, it is a story based on what the um, animated film was based on. Just a little bit of changes here and there. But I thought it was pretty well done. It looked really great. Sounded good. And so I do hope we get a physical media release for it because I would definitely buy it. Okay, next up, I watched this film called Made in Italy. Um, this had been sitting in my watch pile for a very long time. And so I just randomly just selected this one to watch. I really enjoyed it. It's a very simple story. It does have Liam Neeson in it. Um, it's, it's kind of a, um, I don't know, it's a family drama type film. Um, but very well done. I would highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up I watched this film that had been in the watch pile for a while called The Wife. Um, Glenn Close gives a very great performance in this. She is actually great in everything that I've seen her in. I think she does a great job. I really do enjoy watching her and her performances. She gives it 110%. But the movie kind of fell flat. Um, but I am happy that I was able to watch this. Um, I would not recommend it though. Okay, next up we had the release of Lightyear that came out recently. And I finally took the time to watch this. Um, you know, I know it has been on Disney Plus for a while. Um, it was in the theater, but I never took time to watch it because I just wasn't a really big... I, I didn't hear very many good things about it. Um, I did watch it. It was not my favorite of the films. Um, I, I think it's a very unnecessary story there. Um, but anyway, light year. Okay, next up, I watched Jacob's Wife. This right here had been sitting in the pile for a while. Also, I did not like this. Um, I really wanted to like it. It is a vampire type story. Um, but I just really didn't get into it. So that's Jacob's Wife. Next up, I watched this A24 film that I had been wanting to see for a while. It's called The Souvenir. Um, this was okay. It was not my favorite A24 film. It was very uh, mediocre in my opinion. Um, but I did watch it because I'm trying to watch all the A24 films that I have in the collection. So I watched The Souvenir. Okay, next up I watched this film with Burt Lancaster called The Swimmer. Um, I had heard some people talking about this one on Instagram, so I decided to open this package up and watch it. I thought it was very well done. I think Burt Lancaster did a great uh, performance in this. This guy goes from house to house swimming in their swimming pools, and so you kind of meet all these different characters. So it was entertaining, very sad ending. Okay, next up, I watched, um, I went to the theater, and I watched Barbarian in the theater. I really enjoyed it. Um, the first half was, I don't know, the first half was great. The second half fell kind of flat. But overall, I really had a good time in the theater watching this. I'm glad I saw it on the big screen. I'll definitely purchase that one on um, physical media when it comes out. Okay, next up, I watched this film called Spencer. Um, I guess with all the news of the Queen passing away, um, it kind of brought this all back. And I knew I had had this in the collection since it was released, but I never saw it. Uh, I think um, Kristen Stewart did a great performance as Princess Di. Um, it was a sad story. I enjoyed this telling of her particular time and a period in her life. So Spencer, I would definitely recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up we had the 4K release for The Lost Boys. So um, I did get to watch this one again. I hadn't seen it in a very long time. Um, but really great 4K release. I've always enjoyed the film. Um, I grew up in the 80s. I grew up in the 70s and the 80s, so this was really big when it came out in the 80s. And I really enjoyed it, and I've always enjoyed the story. So um, definitely check out The Lost Boys if you've never seen it. And then I went back to the theater um, and saw um, Pearl. Um, I, you know, I was up in the air, was seeing Pearl and Barbarian. And so I watched The Barbarian first because Pearl was getting some um, off, um, off reviews for some people. 
but I did want to see Pearl in the theater, so I did go watch Pearl. Really enjoyed it. Um, highly recommend you check Pearl out, if, especially if you're a fan of X. Okay, next up we had the release of Poltergeist, so I did watch Poltergeist in 4K. I've always been a big fan of Poltergeist. It's one of my favorites from that era. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I really did enjoy it. I've always enjoyed the Poltergeist films, so very happy to have that one on 4K. Next up, since I watched Pearl in the theater, I decided I wanted to watch X again. Um, I had not seen X since it was released in the theater, which I really enjoyed it. And so, um, to me, it was nice to revisit this after watching Pearl. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they do with the next film. Okay, next up, I finally watched The Wailing. This right here is one that had been in the watch pile for a very long time. Um, I'm not a big fan of reading subtitles, so a lot of times I do push them aside. Um, but I decided that I was going to go ahead and watch this. I really enjoyed it. Great story. Um, I Highly recommend you check this one out. Really good film. Okay, next up, I watched Rogue One, a Star Wars story. I've always been a big fan of this film. Had been many years since I've seen this one. And with the new um, Disney Plus Star Wars show being out, I wanted to revisit this after watching the first four episodes. So I really do enjoy this film. If you've never seen a Star Wars story, Rogue One, definitely check it out. Okay, next up, um, I had been watching um, the Netflix series with about Dahmer, Jeffrey Dahmer. So I decided to open up one of my Dahmer films. Um, verse right here is the one starring Jeremy Renner. Um, probably not the best one. It, I don't know. It just was lackluster. The Netflix series told the story very well. This right here didn't do very well. To me, I think um, the Netflix series was much better, but very happy to have that one in the collection. Um, next up is a film called The Harvesters. Um, I had had this one in the collection for a while. It's another one with subtitles um, about a family. Um, anyways, The Harvesters. It's an okay watch. And then lastly, I saved the best for last. Uh, for September, I watched The Munsters. I've always been a big fan of the TV show. I grew up watching the TV show. I love the TV show. Um, but this film, this film right here, I don't know, it was beautifully shot. The colors, um, everything looked really good. It was a corny movie, which is what it was probably meant to be. Um, so it wasn't terrible, but it's not my favorite. But I'm definitely happy that I've seen it. And definitely happy to have that in the collection. So those are all the films I watched during the month of September. Hopefully you were able to watch a lot of films during the month. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about what films that I watched. And also let me know what films you would recommend me checking out during the month of October. So during the month of October, I'm mostly going to be um, focused on the horror films. And Halloween type films so that's what I'll be watching so definitely leave me some recommendations and also let me know what you watched during the month of September because I really do enjoy reading your comments if you like what you saw here today please give it a thumbs up and share the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe if you do subscribe please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video if you haven't found me on my social media accounts I'm on Instagram TikTok and on Twitter if you'd like to find out what I've been watching you can follow me over at Letterboxd I do have all those links below Below. But thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.